He knocked me to the floor, shoved me down, tied me up, face down. This man describing what happened to him on his 85th birthday, and now police want to catch the guy who did it. 24 Hour News 8 Steve Kelso spoke with a victim in his Van Buren County home today. Steve's live in studio control. Hey, good evening, Brian. Happy birthday, huh? This all happened back in March 21st in rural Van Buren County. Michigan State Police alerted us to this crime today because so far they've not been able to make any inroads. Tonight, Biff Diamond says he wants the guy caught, but not for his own sake. Yeah, she stayed with Grandpa all the time. Just about any day around 11 o'clock, you can find 85-year-old Biff Diamond parked right here. Just biffing his dogs, watching the prices right. That's what gave me the haul deal, what time it was, and everything was going on. But on March 21st, Biff's game show was interrupted. Someone was at the door. And I answered the door, and he knocked me to the floor, shoved me down, tied me up. Diamond barely got a look at the guy, and now the Price is Right is giving police one of their only clues. It was during the first uh, showcase showdown, so he knows it was about 11.15. Oh, I got loose first thing. When the bad guy realized Biff had escaped, he tied him up again, this time, but good. He forced Diamond to this couch and put this pillow over his head. Well, I put the pillow over the back of my head, and I thought probably he's going to shoot me in the back of the head or something. No. Now, with a million thoughts racing through his head, Biff Diamond was not about to lose faith. Oh, I just kept wiggling my hands, work, work myself loose. By then, he was alone with the dogs again. Then he called his girlfriend and told her she should come home from work. And I don't care what they took from the home. That doesn't bother me. It bothers me what they did to Biff. He admits he was scared, but part of him seems to take it all in stride. I just hope they catch the guy. Because if he done it to one, he's going to do it to another. Biff would give his shirt off his back to help anybody, anybody. He's a very nice man. And you know, as we sat around that table talking this afternoon, I said, well, it's very fortunate that Biff will be around to celebrate his 86th birthday. But he said, no, sweetie, we're planning on celebrating his 90th. If you know anything about this at all, the Michigan State Police and Pawpaw would like to hear from you. Live in studio control, Steve Kelso, 24-hour news 8.